Hello and welcome to Pillars of Eternity. Let's get out of here. We have a choice to make. Which way to go? I'm gonna take my look at the quests and see which one I want to complete next. Clues of White March. Galvino lives in the shadows of Durgan's battery. You may know something of interest about the keep. Okay, let's go there. The battery. Eight hours of travel, not a big deal. the blue flames look amazing. Is this the battery? Or oh, was I actually expecting something more? Ah, the life of a traveler. So many ruins to uncover, places to see. Indeed. Though after five years, I'll be ready for a break. It is true. You have been at Keeping it far longer than I. Where will you go next when you have all the world to choose from? Home, of course. <laughs> The Morning Cycle. Another lot of copper. Secret Society of Anamancers. Doesn't seem like a big deal. I'm gonna send a lot there. Two turns, that's not a long time. Dear. Where are you guys going? Hello. Hey. Are you supposed to be hostile? I'm, I'm just curious. Yep, yep, they're hostile. Slaughter them all. Yeah, that was good. Disintegrate. Mind plague. Let's take a look at this, shall we? I'm here. Shall we? I'm here. Good. Not bad with that blunder bus and stuff, but I think I'm gonna go with my mace. Yes. Okay, let's switch you out. I'll take a look. Let's move it. Not a sound. Quietly, we don't want to be ambushed by something. Eastra's device makes a terrible screeching noise. The compass points west. Spirits. I'm here. A lot of them. Okay, one down. Take him. Okay, let's use that. 
It's a nice area of protection, I think. Go get them. Oh, for the love of following your tail ends here. Help me. Okay, your turn. Go. Petrified, not bad. No idea what happened there. Anyway, let's move out. Somebody help. Help, please, I'm down here. Standing on the narrow art cryptum far below the edge of the chasm, a villager waves his arms frantically. The villager is well out of reach, and the uneven slick surface of the chasm would prove difficult to climb by hand. Either can do it, of course. Sagani has solid grasp of knots and steps forward to secure the line with sturdy knot. Did I say Ether? Cool. The trapped man uh, presses himself against the chasm wall. Please hurry, the ice is starting to crack. Looking down, Ether can see another small ledge further up along the side of the chasm. It is close enough to jump to, but it may not be able to support much weight. Jump down. As it lifts into the chasm and lands hard and the snow-covered outcropping shifts dangerously unfooted, but he holds. On the ledge, Ether has a moment to survey the surroundings. The trapped villager is almost directly below his frightened face, turned to up to watch Ether's process. Rappel down, that takes firm hold of the rope, giving it a few urges to ensure it is still holding fast, and leaps away from the ledge. Ever is making good distance, appears to be sheer of ice along the chasm wall, and her feet crash through the cluster of icy shards, coming crashing down. The villager helps in pain, as he buffeted by the breeze. As Ever struggled to free the hole in the chasm wall, the wind begins to pick up, the freezing gusts flirt fearlessly at Eder's clothing, holding fast. Press on. Unfazed by the freezing winds, Eder continues to descend. At last, he comes within the arm's reach of the trapped villager and extends hand towards him. Eder grabs hold of the man and hoists him up. The villager wraps the arm tightly around his rescuer. Section of the outscrubber begins to crumble away into the darkness below. Passenger in tow, Ether begins the ascent. With every upward movement, the man Ether's back cries out in pain. Ether feels his grip loosening. Use one hand to keep hold of him. Ether loops along the rope around the one foot and then grabs hold of the man's arm with one hand. Even climbing one handed up the chasm, Ether makes steady progress. At last, he reaches the top and climb back over the side to safety. Oh, thank you, I've been down here for long. I thought I was done for. Here, take my money. Quiet. Berries. Giants. Wonderful. And they're hey. The stench! Even worse Behind than the dead! Take this one down! Itumak, this one's yours. Okay, there goes the pup. 
Let's use the mind plague. See how good this thing is. Ready, watch my bow's ready. Oh yeah, that's it. One more down. Take down the wolf. Okay, you move forward. Get on. Blood makes the grass. Paralyze him. Not bad, not bad at all. Seriously, that druid is pretty decent when he's in shift form. Cavern? Oh, hello. I totally noticed you. Fine, let's enter and see what's inside, shall we? Oh, look at that, taxes. We didn't get that much. We need to introduce more taxes. Well, at least bandits haven't stole everything yet. How does the economy even work? If I wasn't out adventuring, there was no way I was going to keep my keep safe. Especially if we hire this guy, that's half of my income right there. I'm here. Heather, here. The device points directly at the spot along the cavern wall. To heal. You've been poisoned. Consider it dead. Still there? Attack that guy. You attack there. And shoot the aquabus. You don't have enough to paralyze them. Now you do. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all. Quietly now. I think you saved the day here, Havaris. White Adra gems. Handful of polished crystals of White Adra, retrieved from Langfast Cavern. All were covered in notches of peculiar engravings, though their meaning is unclear. Well, that... 
Okay. Grave I'll take a look. A secret. Some cell fire. An exceptional armor. Let's go to the chest. Hmm. On the hunt. Keeping an eye out. Oh, hello. Almost missed you there. Let's get out of here. This is gonna be fine. Again, the blue flames look amazing. Though they don't look like flames in the game itself. I'll tinker with that. What could go wrong? All done. Ah, diamonds and a pearl. And a fine upgrade. Sure. Yeah, I bet I can take you hey. down. This one's yours. We do have a different. I want this one dead. Take him. Okay. Tinker with that. What what could go wrong? I'll tinker with that. All done. What could go wrong? Trap difficulty level one. Something called spell tongue. I'm gonna take a look at that. Deflection. Heather, what kind of gloves are you wearing? Might and constitution. We're gonna keep those. What am I wearing? Dexterity. An armor speed penalty. Range to damage or deflection. Can you have restore light and defense? I think you're gonna have those. They are not special one bit. I'm gonna take a look at you later. If I need to rest, perhaps. Rig of Unshakeling. Not even a Eureka ring, it's just there. Now Move. this is interesting. Um. Oh, okay. We found the leg. I'm on the trail. Another to pass. An exceptional stiletto. I can do that. All done. A fine mace. Just move slowly, take all the berries you can. More of those guys. Oh, how wonderful. Oh. 
Okay. Ice elementals. You have to be careful with those. Hey. I need these guys now. Okay. Protect me. Take him out. Need too much help. Damn it! Paralyzed. I don't even know where I got this, but I guess I have to use it on myself. That will hit through. Where did you come from? Stand together. That will hit through. My reflexes aren't what they used to be. Let's stay in the back from this point on then. Well, this is nice. Seems like someone battered these gates long ago. Oh goody. I say not bad, not bad at all. Let's walk in. See if we're gonna find anything worth my time. Oh, ghosts. Now I have to get inside there. That caravan must have had a half ton of steel. Coinmaster Zoltan's finally getting his way. For now, the other commandants will have his head. Only if they don't tear each other to pieces first. I heard Maroon and Exandru. Shh. Last thing I want is to get on Maroon's bad side. Fine, just say the words then. I'm getting hoarse. I'm on the trail. Cool. Is that it? Should we knock? No. Not yet. In a moment. Quietly now. Quiet. We're actually looking for someone, aren't we? Hello? Hello? Oh, look at that. Cannons. Quietly now. Isn't that just great? Everyone move here. I'm on the trail. I think I see the bot. Mm, nope, never mind. <laughs> okay, you always know what to say, don't you? Look, some of those are dead. That's great. Saves me the trouble of killing them myself. What is this? Uh, Dungrun's Cross. Oh, we came from a cave here. And there are still places I need to visit. What, no secrets? That's kind of disappointing.
What is this? This crate is empty, though it smells strong here fish. Yeah, well, it's common here. Very common. Okay, we'll talk with you in a moment. Hello there, always good to see more kit on the road. You can relax for the time being. In God here, we'll let you know if any ogres come up on us. I ought to be heading down the mountain soon, but I still supplies if you need anything. Who are you? My name is Talgar. I come up from Starwood sometimes to trade. Nothing fancy like Jordan has. Just supplies, ingredients. No ingredients, let's have. Cool. Ingredients, ingredients. You have no ingredients, dude. Do you know? Do you know a man by the name of Galvino? Think anyone knows Galvino? He's a cabin a little way north of here. You will want to follow the road away then, hardly to the trees. Don't go too far now, though. Got bandits grow all over the road into the pass. Do you know anything about these bandits? Sure do. Most of the caravans have taken the one road down into the pass. A group of bandits set up shop just north of here. Before the bend. They will just take a tail on a good day so on your head, most others. I keep clear of them myself, and they don't usually come down the mountain. Which way to Durgan's battery? You're one of those, huh? Just follow the road north, then west across the bridge. You know when you see it. Have a care Langfant moved into the area not long ago, and they've already made short work of few caravans. Good to know. Okay, just move slowly. No reason for us to give our position away. Keeping an eye out. Yes. I'll take a look. Right. Let's see for secrets here. Nope. Just berries. Okay. Now move slowly. Hmm. Have a look at this. In a moment. Okay, let's see what we have. Nine goes black page. Cool. Why don't you have that? That's a very high level book. Infused with vital essence. Wait, what the hell is that? Nigel Shadow Flame, a curious variant of the ever popular fireball. Nigel's Shadow Flame causes freeze damage and paralyzes anyone caught in the area of death. Nigel's Death Ray, the more powerful variant of the common ray of fire spell, inflicts road damage attacks and the target fortitude, and only affects enemies. This book is amazing. More of flame? Bitter Mooring, this target is hit with a stuck affiliation that becomes anchor for a frigid ray of energy from the wizard that does freeze damage to creatures in its path. I would love this book. Also, I think he has this one. Chaotic Orb. Killing boat. This spell inflicts a heavy amount of road damage on a target. Any known spirit fallen by the attack will summon a specter under the caster's control. Cool. Now this seems like a quiet place. Might as well walk in and speak with the guy, right? 
How far north can we go before we run into anything that can kill us? Now what's this all? Now what's this all about? Hmm. Exceptional sword and an exceptional shield. Okay. Itmak, why don't you go ahead? A man stands in the middle of the road without lowering the blade that rests on his shoulder. Yeah, shoulder. He took two steps forward, as of to speak to me. Was hoping for another glump error, Kip there. They always carry surprises, and we love surprises. By we, of course, I mean me and this. The man taps his hilt of the sword. To be quick, try to stay still. Oh, yeah, that's gonna work for you. Itamax is gonna die. Heather, block their path, make sure. You are powerful. Get out of the way, mate. One misclick and I'm almost dead. Use that. Can you heal him? For the love of... Anyway, take him. He's yours. Take him. Take that bow out. Make him bleed. Guess you missed. Can you knock him down? Yeah. 
Bloody hell. So, Saint Yawan's Redeemer. Binds with Barbarian Fighter Paladin. Slow. What does it mean by this item to unlock the next level? This sword is well made, but modest in design. The long forge in the feathers pattern. Radiating from the hilt, or even this has been crafted with exquisite care. Each barb on the shaft is smooth, straight line beneath my fingers. Power and warp radiates from the blade. It's a two handed weapon. Pretty high level those guys were. Okay, and this book is the same as this one. Bind so. Basically, I wouldn't mind doing that. Why is this a two-handed weapon? Can't you use it with one hand? Nope. I don't know what that means. I'm afraid to do it. Okay, let's take a look. Does it say anything about binding? Notes? No. Character statistic injuries. No. Combat mechanics. No. Equipment. Soul-bound weapons. Unique items that can magically bound with the soul of a single character. Once bound, the item can only be used by that character, unless the bone is severed. A soul-bone item. We increase the power as the wielder compels certain requirements, specific in the item's description. Most soul-bound weapons can only bound with a character of certain classes. However, regardless of the item type, a soul-bound item always qualifies for any talents or abilities like weapon focus and specialization that the character may have. If a fighter has a weapon focus of specialization in the European, he or she would gain their benefits when wielding a soul-bound great sword or wand. Benefits from multiple talents or abilities of the same type. Weapon focus, European and peasant, do not stack. If the bond of soul-bound item is ever severed, to lose all the abilities it has gained over time. So it basically means you're the only one who can use that. Barbarian, fighter or paladin. Well, you're the only one we have who is a, any of those. You sure want to so bind this. Sealed Wild Ones, Redeemer to Adder. Once bound, this item cannot be equipped by any other character. Do it. The spirits with this redeemer to unlock the next level. Deal a thousand damage to enemies. Okay. I think we're gonna be fine with that thing. I shall be quiet as a calm sea. Which is not very Bandits. The road continues climbing for a short distance before turning sharply down into the pass beyond. Shh. Should be very careful with that thing, I think. A thousand damage. That. That is a lot. Hmm. Have a look at this. It's a lot of traps. Oh, I should have expected that. This guy's obviously a lunatic. This map depicts the peak of the mountain with marks denouncing the altitude. Okay, let's get out of here.
This room reminds me of Cat Nua. Okay. Continue slowly. There are bound to be traps here, especially those two. Let's take a look, shall we? Yeah. No? Hmm. Hmm. Take a look at that. I guess there's one. Two. Three. This guy is actually gonna wait. Hey. Okay, let's see if we can lure some of them away. Itamak, hey, you're expendable. Like a fox. Hey. Okay. Cannot wait. Hey, Francis. Eight. Hmm. Not certain I've ever seen those guys before. Anyway, Scanny, why don't you wait here? I think the rest of us can handle them. Or maybe Kiana should stay here. Fine. Okay, Come guys, here. move in. Good shot. Hmm. Okay, use this on him. Flash construct. I need those guys to outwit. Focus, mate, focus. Okay, how question. This was killed, but we didn't get anything from it. Rotting flesh comes from I have no idea what that does. Okay, obviously these guys have a lot of defenses. Can you make him bleed? Okay, good. Both of you, attack him. You're gonna die any second, I need to help you. Go ahead. No, it didn't work. Anyway, then, then don't use it! What is this resistance, dammit? Okay, what happened? Rotten flesh. Crush resistance, pierce resistance, burn resistance, freeze resistance, corrode resistance. Damage resistance 16. I don't see any slash resistance, which means that this sword should be doing well. Okay. Damn it, use that. Okay. And this. Oh dear, come on! Oh, for the love of... Did you kill him? Good. How did you destroy that? Okay, after this we'll need to rest. Go 
a little bit closer. Well, that didn't work. Damn it. Did it? You're still paralyzed. At least he's dead. Ouch. A brutish warrior, you say? Gives you both prestige and this. Not bad. Forget the thug, hired the warrior. What do we know about this thing? The unstable co construct. By hell. Following your okay, Kana. We didn't use you much. We have to be very careful with those things. Oh, so hey. How much damage did you do with that thing? 140. Not bad. All done. Okay. Right, let's rest. I'm pretty sure we'll find something to do, but first let's read about those unstable constructs, shall we? Wizards have experimented with constructs over centuries, but the process of transferring cell essence out of a living body and into something else, be it stone, metal or bone, has always been a difficult one. As the body of research of the subject has grown, thanks to largely on the part of necromancy, methods have improved. Yet, transferring an impact so, one retains personality, memories and intelligence is harder still. Ethel Moore, the head of the Blackenberry Sanctum in Defiance Bay, is one of the few successes. Proponents argue that perfecting this method would allow Kit to extend their own life without degenerating into vampires, ghosts and other flesh-eating vassals. Other contend that the metallic monstrosities that fill Calendar's animancy labs are more horrific still. It's been estimated that for some every truly sentient construct there are scores, if not hundreds, of mimed souls trapped in half-finished bodies. What a wonderful fate. This is done. Itmak. Unstable cells, you say. Mm. Okay, why don't you stay here? I want you to reinforce him. Yes. Try to take them out. Now, dude, you have two range weapons. Not quite low. Oh, my. All of you. Quite oh, that was necessary. Okay. What is this? Subject roster. This this paper contains a loose list of apparent prestigious, separated by dates, God Bank, Long Watch Falls Bandit, Michael Dak Isprom, Some Smuggler, Postback, Murderer, Nice Hair, Reinstrat, Idiot Who Tried to Knight Me. Under the list is a note, a different hand. Diversu Devil. Just give me numbers. Know what that means? Oh dear! Okay, run. Retreat. Keep retreating. Oh bloody hell! Okay, attack him. Please help me, sir. Please. Did you just destroy that thing with one swing of the sword? One move here. Ready. And I need you to use that. 
on Edda. Watch your shadow! <laughs> Okay, paralyze him. Everyone, attack. Pick to Marcus. Fall back. Okay. Just keep falling. Let Ether have him. Yes. Stand together. My friends. Good. Go ahead. That's gonna be fun. Okay, I think that's enough from you. Okay, Ender, let's see. How much damage did you do with that? I'm, I'm just curious. Can you milk this a little bit? Damage to enemies with this. Damage to spirits. Still haven't encountered any. We will. It's something that would protect me against spirits. On the hunt. Okay, guys, everyone here. Shh. Oh, and retreat because why not? All right then. You're not getting through me. Hey. Okay. Use this. Keep killing him. I also don't like these constructs. By the way, we killed it. Does it say what it is? Unstable. Are you sure? Slash, piercing and shock. Okay. Still alive, eh? Fine. Down he goes. Okay, guys. Over here. Attack. Attack this one. Paralyze him. Damn it! It's with you and my dog. Box. Uh, can you just. Hey. Stick. You're not getting through me. Oh, like. Need something? Blood make That went well, you say. Hey. I'll stay Very silent, please. A secret passage. I bet it's friendly. Hey, look what I found. What's the chance of you doing that? Just, just I'm gonna know. Exceptional. Destroys vessels on hit or critical hit. 25%, so... Because it's a vessel. 
but not spirits, just bastards. If it was spirits, that sword would have been amazing. I can do that. Still, all done. Yeah, you're money or your life, friend. You can't be serious. <laughs> A tiny voice rises from within the chest. This headless machine. From time to time, bursts of sparks, accompanied by a rattle of innards. This is not a jest. There is a toe on those roads, friend. Five hundred copper. You have a new set of nostrils to breathe out of. We are not on the road. You really are lost. Tell you what. Pay up, and I'll point you to Longhome. A decent trade, isn't it? You're in a cell. Look around you, if you have a head. A philosopher, is it? All of us trapped within the cages of our own antiquity. I'll have none of that. Just look at yourself. You're broken. Machine. You use some very peculiar insults, I have to say. Even so, you regret those words. I can't have people saying I'm gone softer, can I? The construct suddenly lifts sideways, arms a kingdom. Huh? Th that's odd. I swear I had my knives. I've always been very good with knives. Where are my hands? Where am I? What is happening, idiot? Okay, guys. We're trying to self-destruct, which means that we're trying to paralyze Great. Spawn on him, guys. Easy enough. Lay in low. An idiot who tried to knife me. Oh, that crosses one of Ooh, those lists. Take a look at that. And where do you head? Echoing misery. Defense when disengaging. Ray of pain when hit by critical hit once per encounter. Okay. Wait, do those boots have a special history? Yes, they do. Move out of there. Shh. Nothing. All constructs, of course. Okay. Let's try this. Etomark, why not go here? It's a lot of them. Fine, protect Itumak, and you go in and help yes. him. Injured he is. Oh, 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 great, great. Okay, uh, use this. Okay, um, how about you use this potion of endurance? We can't use it. Good. Dancing boats summons a ferry of thin boats of lightning hitting enemies in the area of effect with shock damage. Overwhelming wave. Once per rest. Really? This hits me as well? Fine. Everyone. Focus. Damn it, that didn't work. Okay, get out of there. Worse. Need something? No one moves, okay? Try to paralyze him. He's 
Dunk, okay, next one. Switch that sword. I'll chew the gristle off your skull. Should have taken out that shield. It would have helped out a bit. Okay, attack him, and I'm going to help you. Yeah, hey. just waiting for you, mate. Might need to rest again soon. On the hunt. Slowly. This one. Go. Get on. Yes. Okay. The lever seems to be locked in place for the moment. You hear a faint ready voice singing tonelessly. Ah. Instructions, I bet. He has outdone himself, this one. Bear Slayer. A common robber with some natural talent for cipher ability. It has, na it has gone to his head. The Basil believes he is the next Antonino. I think, in any case, the world would be well rid of him. Still, he has yet yielded promising results. His mind is almost perfectly intact. I might even have been able to determine whether there is a merit in his delusional about his soul lingering. And I made a foolish mistake of leaving the man's pistol on my workbench. His essence is bound to the weapon rather than the body. I undertook the build for him. Even bodiless, this fool seeks no trouble, not to trouble me, okay. I have sealed him within one of the tanks. I will have to prove the machine against the free roaming experiments while I think of a solution. Until then, I suppose I must endure the company while I work. Cool. Well, that was fun. Anyway, I think I'm going to end this episode here, so thank you all for watching, and I'm going to see you all next time. Goodbye.